the appointment and the prior of the assessment activity, I will visit the assessment center and check if it complies with the OHS requirements. The assessment resources such as required tools and equipment. And on the day of the assessment, I shall reserve the assessment package from a DESTA representative. So, good morning. My name is Gerald Fernandez and a competency assessor for electrical installation and maintenance NC2. So, I would like to acknowledge the presence of Lori Jane Lumampi and our passive, passive officer and Valerie Vitachi, our AC manager and Jonathan Hernandez, our representative from Tesla Sambuanga Isabela District Office. So, you do not have you do not have to worry about their presence because they are here to oversee the conduct of assessment and to check if the conduct of assessment is in accordance with the prescribed competency assessment methodology and procedure. So before we start, please submit your admin admission slip. As I call your name, please acknowledge by raising your hand and sign the attendance sheet. Okay, Agent Rodriguez. Yang Lai Joshan. Okay, thank you. I have here with your accomplished application for a self-assessment guide. This is an indication that you know and can perform all the units of competency enumerated for EIM and C2. So I would like to welcome you all of you to our center for your assessment for EIM and C2. May I ask you what will be your purpose for taking assessment? Okay. Today, we're going to administer competency assessment for EIM and C2. The qualification is composed of basic, common, and core competency. So we have a three core competencies, which are perform wrapping and activities wiring and cable works for single phase distribution power lightning and auxiliary system. The second is install electrical protective devices for distribution power lightning, auxiliary lightning, protection, and grounding system. And the third one is install wiring devices of blower and wall-mounted outlets, lightning fixtures, switches, and auxiliary outlets. So, you will be given six hours to demonstrate the different tasks. So, when you hear the first bell, the, that only means that you have 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. When you hear the second bell, would mean five minutes left. And the third is, uh, while well, the last bell would mean time is up. Okay? I will collect the evidences through demonstration and oral questioning. This assessment methods can help measure your underpinning knowledge and skills. For your personal needs, the laboratory is called is located at the ground floor of this building. And you can also take your meal at our canteen. So it is located here at entrance gate. How, however, during the assessment, you, can, you are not allowed to leave the premises that assessment center. If you have difficulty to understand the given instruction, or if you have concern, questions, or there is a need for you to clarify matter concerning the assessment, you may raise your hand because I am more than willing to assist you. But once the assessment has started, has started please refrain from asking questions. It is no longer allowed. If you have physical or any form of difficulties, do not hesitate to call my attention so that it can be addressed immediately. So in case you have any questions regarding the assessment results, you have the right to appeal. You can submit your appeal to the TESTA district office for the assessment center and the assessor are accredited. So for the insurance, insurance of the national certificate, you can claim it at the TESTA district office with one working day after the assessment. After the assessment, and you are found to be not yet competent, don't worry about it because you can be reassessed anytime at your own at your own convenience. But if you fell into consecutive assessment, you will be advised to undergo a refresher course before applying for reassessment. So next is during to the actual assessment, please observe safety as you perform the different tasks. In case of accident, please call my attention immediately so that we can provide the first aid. The first aid cabinet is located to the left corner of the assessment area. With regards to the result of your assessment, we observe strict confidentiality. This is to ensure your integrity. The result is only made up 
only made available to authorized personnel and to institutional and institution where you had your actual training. In relation to this, the assessment package is kept on a secured place to guarantee the integrity of assessment package. In lieu of above, may I ask all candidates to refrain from giving away any form of information that took place during the assessment process. If you didn't, if you didn't have questions or clarifications, then I'm going to distribute the specific instructions. Here's instructions. Please read it carefully and do not hesitate to ask questions right now. We may be able to translate, translate it to English to your local dialect. So, I shall now... And then Rodriguez will be candidate number one. And Jan, Jan Rodriguez-Ano will be candidate number ten. Okay? Let's, uh, let us now proceed at the assessment area. So, this is your assessment area. As you can see, we have the practical area and the area, as well as the quality area. Please observe safety at all times. If there is, are no more questions, you may now start. And then number one. Okay. Number ten. Okay, you, may, you, may, you may now start. Are you done? Okay, thank you. So I have a question. So what is the amount of the voltage applied in service entrance? Okay. Next is, how is your experience doing the actual wiring? Okay. okay. Dear assessors, after collecting the evidences, and before I give the feedback, in, I shall gather all the evidences and make judgment based on the dimensions of competency, rules of evidences, and corroboration of evidences. So, candidate number one, how are you? We are now on the last phase of the assessment. Would you like to drink some water? Okay, all right. How was the assessment? If you are if you are to rate yourself from one to ten and ten is the highest and one is the lowest, what would it be? Yes, I agree. May, uh, my observation coincides with your action. What I like about your demonstration is that you perform the virus task with speed and correctly. You're like professional electrician. Okay? For your oral questioning, you will be able to answer the questions correctly. What do you think are, are your areas of improvement? And what do you need to do? Yes, make sure before cutting the the wire, you double check if the measurements are accurate. So for your overall overall performance, you are confident. Congratulations! You may see the easy manager after this assessment. You may claim your NC2 certificate one day after the assessment at Tesla San Juan Isabela District Office, located at Tulongatum, San Roque. Talungun Sanroki State, DCT. Please present your cards and prepare 50 pesos and two pieces passport size pictures with white background. So, candidate number 10, how are you? Okay, we are now on the last phase of the assessment. Would you like to bring some water? Okay, how was the assessment? If you are, if you are to rate yourself from 1 to 10, and 10 is the highest and 1 is the lowest, what would it be? Yes, I agree. My observations coincide with your actions. But what I like about your demonstration is that you have the speed in connecting the wires and you were also got the wires properly. For your oral questioning, you were able to answer some of the questions correctly. What do you think are your areas for improvement? Okay, and what do you need to do? Okay. Yes, you will try to focus on practices more on attaching the parts of the wires. So for your overall performance, you are not yet competent. But don't worry about it. You can still be reassessed at any time at your convenience. But failing into two consecutive assessments will mean that you need to undergo a refresher course. Just see the easy manager later for your reapplication of your assessment. Thank you. Dear assessors, I will have to accomplish all the needed, needed reports and turn over the assessment package to the AC manager. That's for recording and reporting of the assessment results. Thank you.